Hey guys, I'm LB. We're back playing the Talos Principle. And this guy does not know who to trust, and is afraid to go on. Well, I'm not afraid to go on, but I don't know who to trust. Why is there... Where is the beeping sound coming from? I heard a beeping sound over here. Yeah, there's a beeping sound. Is it on the outside? Where would it be, though? Oh, there's QR codes there that I've never read. The designer has granted me domain over the lands I've traveled, and with his sigils of power, I'll make this whole world my domain. Hey, he promised me the world as well, what a joker. I don't think time obeys too many rules here. Or so many rules we can't imagine. Clearly I'm writing this message after you all wrote yours, but maybe we're all here at the same time as well? That message just materialized on the wall in front of me. Are there any others over here that I missed? Beeping be coming from. There's a. It's ice? <laughs> Keynote speech by In Serapai questioning doubt. They say doubt everything, but I disagree. Doubt is useful in small amounts. But too much of it leads to apathy and confusion. No, don't doubt everything, question everything. That's the real trick. Doubt is just a lack of certainty. If you doubt everything, you'll doubt evolution, science, faith, morality, even reality itself. And you'll end up with nothing, because doubt doesn't give anything back. But questions have answers, you see. If you question everything, you'll find that a lot of what we believe is untrue. But you might also discover that some things are true. You might discover what your own beliefs are, and then you'll question them again and again, eliminating flaws, discovering lies, until you get as close to the truth as you can. Questioning is a lifelong process. That's precisely what makes it so unlike doubt. Questioning engages with reality, interrogating all it sees. Questioning leads to a constant assault on the intellectual status quo, where doubt is far more likely to lead to resigned acceptance. After all, when the possibility of truth is doubtful, excuse the pun, why not simply play along with the most convenient lie? Questioning is progress, but doubt is stagnation. Maybe I should have asked the computer a question instead of saying I don't care to ask it. Hi folks, this is just to let you know that, for reasons of convenience and security, we've partitioned EL into two separate systems. The Talos team will be working on EL0, while the Archive team will be working on EL1. You might also notice an EL2 partition, but don't worry about that, it's just the operating system doing its thing. Hmm, suspicious. Hey Alex. I agree that we need something that'll keep all the modules working together. Evaluate blah, a final test. And I think I have the perfect solution. It's called the Holistic Integration Manager. It's a fancy name for something a lot like... a dungeon master in pen and paper RPGs. Wait a minute. H-I-M. Him. Hmm, suspicious. We created it to help run some MMOs back in the day. We needed something that would be able to unite procedurally generated and user-submitted content into a coherent whole so the game wouldn't become too chaotic and inconsistent. It's a genuine AI, somewhat limited in its ability to grow, but capable of parsing and understanding text, images, audio, even video. 
It takes all the information it can find, interprets it, and then builds and maintains a world based on that. It's not perfect, but we don't have a lot of time, and it would be easy to adapt the code for our purposes. In fact, come to think of it, some of it is actually based on routines that you suggested in that paper on blah. Is that Elheim or Milton Library Assistant? Hmm. Well, now that I know I can walk on the ice here, let's just, uh, go to town. QR code here. I wish I could reach those islands in a distance, but it seems to be impossible. this area yet. I don't think I ever went behind the tower. There is a blue laser thing there. Interesting. What's all this, then? Ha! I got on top of it. I don't think I'm meant to be up here, though. There's a paint bucket here. message in a weird place up here, at least. So what's in here? Ha! A challenge star, apparently. Why does it look all sparkly, though? At least we know the laser emitter is, like, up there or something. Paint a message. Yeah, there's a blue laser emitter there. But we don't even know where we would get... a, Afraid of that tower, there's something terrible inside it. Never think about it, don't even look at it, just focus on doing the work. This must be the tower we were warned about. Seems the upper levels are locked tight. Elohim is taking no chances that we stay stray from his path. I don't remember there being QR codes there before. Maybe I just didn't see them. I've decided I'm gonna leave a message over in here.
there's that message from LB. Anybody on my friends list should be able to see that, hopefully. Because I saw Cherifies in that one world. Okay, let's go to C. Oh, there's the loading. You have oh, come goodness. far, my child, succeeding where so many before you failed. You have walked through a land of ruins and a land of death. Now the land of faith lies before you. And know that as you have shown faith in me, so do I have faith in you. Achievement unlocked the land of faith. Roman Catholic? I don't know. Let's explore. Hey, we can do this. Wait, what is even? What even is this? <laughs> oh dear, what have I gotten myself into? Hey, there we go. That works. What does the dot 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 19 in the top left mean? will let me chop through those boarded up wooden areas. But maybe only one. 
first to ascend. Everyone ascends or gets reset eventually, what's the big deal? Life eternal in the designer's paradise? Hmm. Interesting. Ah, yeah, here's one such area. Question is... Can the axe be reused, and where do I want to use it? Achievement unlocked, break down barriers. Hey! I get to keep the axe! Let's break down all the barriers! I know, I know, you're eager to see what the puzzles are in C, but I can assure you they're gonna be very similar to the ones we've already seen. This is more interesting by far. Man, that's a fast elevator. A really long elevator, too. to get around to here, I have to go a little ways into the tower, at least. So guess what we're doing this episode? The voice keeps speaking to me, I can't get it out of my head, it's wrong, it's all wrong. Listen to me very carefully, I have climbed this tower and no good has come of it. This world is the only world Elaheim's will continue eternal and paradise is banishing all of this from your mind. All who say they made it to the top are blatantly lying or they would say what was there. Okay. Well, there's that. On returning from the tower, I feel a great tiredness and an enormous energy. What I now know disturbs me, but I hope that by living with this knowledge, I might provide a shoulder for you, the giants of tomorrow. The view from the top must be incredible? <laughs> okay, let's continue breaking down barriers. We'll go to B and then A. And then we'll start at A and go back to B and then C. And there's the lag. videos always take so long to upload, because of all the complex geometry. It doesn't compress very well, I guess. Let's see, what is here? There we go. And then, the one in A. I just realized we can see the sky in there, but that sh that doesn't make sense. The sky should not be visible in that area. Ah, 
Ah, oh, come on. Here comes the lag. Here comes the lag. Da 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 da. Well, guys, that's the end of the episode, so as always, thank you for watching. If you hate the sound of my voice, leave a dislike. It's up to you, and I will see you all in the next episode. Goodbye.